good afternoon, everybody. It's the afternoon, yes. It is. I get up with my son, he get off to school, and then I went back to bed. <sighs> How's everybody's mind out there? Freaks and freakettes. This is my... I had a couple cups of coffee this morning. This is my third cup. Hopefully it gets my ass going. I um, will say... That the reason, I'm assuming, that I haven't been on here. Gosh, is this thing going to come off? I might have to do this later. Do you break it on? Oh, I think there's a contraption to get it off. It's one of these little things you put on your face, like a oil or something. Anyway, forget it. Got it from the dollar store. Trying to maintain my youthful look, right? And glow, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so it's been a few days since I've done a video and, um, you know, I, uh, I, uh, must confess that I let my medications run out. I haven't been taking them. So it gets me extra, extra tired, especially with the Synthroid one when I'm not taking it. I'm really tired. I'm usually, you know, like lots of sleep to begin with, but without that medication, it's not so good. So that's that. So instead, I just did some babies, kind of let housework go, which I got to get back to. Got to get back to doing some things for the eBay site and, um, and all that. Well, first, um, what was we going to talk about? Oh, yes. We were driving the other day. Uh, I wanted to mention this. You remember when it used to snow and it would snow? One moment, my daughter's calling. Hello, everybody again. Hopefully I'll attach the beginning part, but if I didn't, hello. Welcome to Freaky Deaky Mind. Belinda here. Thank you for tuning in. Um, once again, shout out to Angela and Joe, people that watch me. And I think, yeah, I know they watch me and they comment and they like. If you're not commenting and liking, please do and share my video. I appreciate it so much. You're going to hear my son in the background going to get something to eat. And you might hear the dogs dinging the bells, the dinging the bells because they want to go outside. I picked the really worst time, I guess, to do a video. Trevor will be coming back and he'll be coming in the door. It's just a noisy old place. It'd be nice to have my own little space, but I don't. And that's why I tend to try to do these in the morning. But like I said earlier, um, it's been a few days since I've done a video. So recently I, I was on the phone. I was started to do a video, but I was on a phone, got a call from Sophia. Really excited. Sophia's my daughter that she got a job um, that she's been wanting to get um, in the direction of her line of work. So congratulations, baby girl. Love you. Um, today I, uh, um, gosh, why my mind just went to her, I guess, in my mind. But the last few days I haven't been doing a whole lot, been slacking in a lot of my areas, but I did finish up a couple babies that I'll show you. But, um, this is baby... Um, is it Zoe? Let me go. I gotta read her neck. That's a kit, Zoe. I need names for all my dolls. Um, this is the kit. I guess. No, no, no. This is the kit gumdrop. This is baby gumdrop. And it's really strange. I was at a super store the other day and I got these little outfits. Um, but it's too big on her. I gotta put something else on her. Um, Wally, you're not going out right now. Sorry. Um, but uh, it's like carrots. It's like carrots. And uh, so, and I put this little headband on her. So she's really my really light skinned baby that I completed. Um, so I need a name for all these babies. So if you can think of ideas, her kit name is Gumdrop. This is her. I don't know how much she weighs because, like I said, I don't have a scale. But 
she probably weighs around three to four pounds, I would think. Layla Get. So that's um, Gumdrop that I recently completed. I'll sit her here, Mama. And then my first dark skinned or darker skinned baby, which I completed her. And I had, she was a challenge. And um, these babies with darker skins are going to take me a while to figure it out because I have darker skin, but it's obviously the skin tone is not evenly distributed, <laughs> I guess, because with the colors, I'm actually using the primary method where you um, take the basic colors and just kind of mix them together to get a color. Um, she doesn't have the hair anymore. I messed her hair up. So I have actually painted on hair, not rooted hair. So this baby most likely will not be for sale because me just looking at her, I see all the errors and things that I, that bug me. So I'll probably keep her for myself. Um, but I love her little get up. It's a little Mickey Mouse get up. Oh, I get her hat on here. It's a little Mickey Mouse hat. And get oh gosh, thank gosh these are not real kids. <laughs> anyway, she uh I need a name for these babies. I need a name for these babies. She has a plop, floppy head. She probably weighs oh five to six pounds, maybe. Um and so that's that's her. Teach baby. I'll sit her by me. Well, I'll set them over because, oh, they're heavy. Anyway, she's a uh, sweetheart. And um, if you can think of any names for these babies, that would be great. And this baby is the one of my first babies. is my biggest baby that I have so far. She's a big one. And her kit name is Libby. But, um... I need a name for her too. And she weighs, gosh, I thought she was the heaviest one, but I'm starting to think that Layla, my dark skinned baby, the kit Layla, weighs more than this one. Anyway, these are babies, Mwah. love them. Nice hobby I got myself into here. And, uh, some of them will have on the site for sale, and some of them will just keep them for my own. Yeah, I put a lot of weight in. Oh, my gosh, Layla weighs a lot. <laughs> I got weight in these baby dolls. Anywho, that's that. And I think, if I remember correctly, I was starting a little story prior to about um, we were driving the other day, and I was looking at the sidewalk and stuff, and it reminded me of, so many times um, in my youth and as a kid, you know, when the snow would be gone, you'd be begging and begging and begging to wear your summer footwear, whatever it was, sneakers a lot of times. And because uh, anybody my age and stuff, um, uh, um, when it snowed, when snow came, the snow didn't go. It stayed. Like, you had the snow until winter was over. And then when the snow started to disappear and you start to see the sidewalk, you started bugging your parents. Like, can I wear my footwear? Can I? And finally, when you wore that first pair of sneakers and you're walking along the sidewalk, and I can remember how it felt under your feet because you're wearing cloggy boots you know, for months prior and all the sand and, and stuff that's on the ground and maybe some remnants of salt and things like that. You can hear it under your feet crunching, crunching, you're walking along and it's feeling so light going to school compared to the way it did for months. And it just, I don't know what it is. It's a weird memory. Like it's a weird memory um, of that feeling of feeling so light and like you just want to start running and you can't wait to get your bike out and all that's exciting stuff to have the winter sort of go. I, I never was one for the winter at all. Um, so anywho, had a nice long chat with my daughter and um, it was nice talking a little bit about the past and stuff and how things 
have been for us and uh, and are changing in our relationship from when she was younger, teenage into adulthood and how we kind of look back at her parents and kind of not see them as those perfect beings that we think they should be when we're younger and that um, they are learning and going through life just like everybody else based on what we know at the time, what we've experienced at the time, you know, and, um, you know, because parenting Sophia, I definitely did not make the best decisions and uh, was not in the healthiest state in my mind frame for sure. Um, you know, and you're, you're trying to battle your head and you can't necessarily, you don't understand your worth or worthiness as a person to kind of put yourself in a different situation. Layla, get out of there. I'm sorry, but my cat is, my dog is eating cat crap. And that's disgusting. What is wrong with her today? Bad girl. Uh, anywho, that was a side side show. I'm sorry. Me apologizing. Anyway, hi, Joe and Angela. You know me. I'll say crap. I'll say whatever. Um, it doesn't matter. It's an adult show. Um, <laughs> um, so what was I talking about? Yeah, so we don't necessarily make the changes that maybe we should when we're in relationships and stuff. and uh, Or we don't really think we should we don't take care of ourselves the way we should and worrying about everything else and taking care of everybody else that we don't think that maybe by not taking care of ourselves it it in turn reflects back on how you parent and you don't necessarily parent the way you want to parent and it's just like anything like none of us as an adult know and we learn through experience, right? And if hindsight was better, you could go back and make things different or change things. You'd want to, you know? And when I look at the parenting of my daughter, I definitely, there's so many things um, that I was extra harsh about and uh, I was stressed about the relationship that I was in at the time and felt so alone in the responsibilities and the raising of of children and being the breadwinner and just every responsibility of decision making I felt very much alone in that and um and that's okay there's lots of single parents you know and uh you can do that but it's a little different when you're not a single parent and you you feel like you place you just get angry, and, and I was very angry um, and placed a lot of extra responsibilities and miseries around my household, and um, I uh, it wasn't a good thing, nothing that I'm happy about, but having that conversation and, and every chance I do get, I try to um, take ownership for that with Sophie and acknowledge that and apologize for that. And um, I think I'll beat myself up forever about that. Um, and then here's Trevor coming home, so I might have to apologize. Apologize. I'm going to apologize because I'm going to pause it. This is annoying. I'm going to have to figure out. My videos can only be in the morning. It's going to have to be that way. Hello, everybody. I'm back. Um, so I think this video I am going to wrap up. Um, kind of hard to talk. Um, but I am going to wrap it up. And I want to thank everybody for um, watching my videos. And uh, please, please like my videos and share them and subscribe to my channel. It helps. Um, and uh, thanks a bunch and have yourself a great day. Bye.